actual letters from actual viewers. Uh, dear Dave, uh, now that Manny the Hippie is out of jail, when will he be back on the show? Uh, he's dank. <laughs> Love, Susan Long, Knoxville, uh, Tennessee. Well, uh, Susan, uh, as you know, Manny, of course, is a guest on tonight's program. But what you might not know, uh, Manny isn't our only guest who's had legal trouble. So here, take a look at this helpful chart. Had this printed up this afternoon. Take a look at that. You see it? There's these celebrities and their uh, crimes. Uh, first of all, Woody Harrelson disturbing the peace, yeah. Uh -huh. Walter Cronkite, check forgery. I had no idea. Yeah. <laughs> Happened to Walter Cronkite. Martha Stewart, unlawful marriage to glue gun. I think I read about that. Frank Gifford stealing towels from hotel rooms. I forgot, I forgot the ceremonial presentation of the letter. Yes, you did Oh, forget. my God. Well, I got my head full with that fireworks debacle. I know. All right, letter number two, Paul. All right, letter number two, Paul. Mm -hmm. All right, letter number two, Paul. Hey, cool jacket. Nice going. But that drives the chicks crazy, huh? Yeah, it does, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> is it a sweater? Is it a jacket? What is it? It's a good look, though. <laughs> uh, dear Dave, it seems like uh, writing for you would be the uh, best job in the universe. Uh, when do I start? <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's an excellent job. <laughs> uh, you know, Pam, we'd love to have you come to New York City and write for The Late Show, but before you board that bus, take a look at this. For writer Eric Stengel, his daily mandate is clear, to come up with fresh comedy ideas that meet the high standards of David Letterman's Late Show. Looks like Dave is pleased with Eric's work. The Eiffel Tower and land in a giant crate. Oh my God! <laughs> this is unbelievable! Woo! <laughs> Did you get that haircut between shows? It looks good. It's a damn nice cut. Uh, letter number three. Letter, letter, letter number three. Attention, patriots. Letter number three. Did you get that haircut that before? before the show because it looks great. Letter, 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 letter number three. Patriots, letter number three. It was attention, nice Patriots. Nice haircut. Letter, letter, letter number three. Attention, Patriots, oh, letter God. number okay. three. Dear Dave, have you ever thought of doing a soundtrack for your show and putting it in an album? Uh, your biggest fan, Patrick Casey, Richmond, Kentucky. Uh, you know, uh, it's a good question, but we did this a couple of years ago. It turned out pretty well. Here's what it is. This is what we call it. The uh, Late Show stagehand sing songs from The Late Show. <laughs> There's, there's Kenny, uh, Sheehan, and Pat Farmer. And what about a, a cut? Let's listen to a cut from the... Uh, our boys, come on out. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Kenny Sheehan and Pat Farmer. And tonight, they're going to sing the CBS Mailbag theme song. Boys, take it over. Letters. We get letters. We get stacks and stacks of letters. Letters. I'll tell you something. Thanks, boys. Nice job. a boy. The Gruchies think they got fireworks out there on Long Island. I'll tell you, man. <sighs> Woo! Oh. <sighs> yeah! Woo! I think I'm having a reaction to antihistamines. No. Letter number four. Ha! Woo! Ha! <laughs> I think I'm having a reaction to antihistamines. Letter number four. <laughs> I think I'm having a reaction to letter number four. I'm having a reaction to letter number four. I'm having a reaction to the letter. Yeah, I know. Physical reaction yeah. to letter Physical. number is it, four. Is it a jacket? Is it a vest? Is it a vest jacket? Kind of a combo kind of half thing? Half and half. Is combo. it like an LL Bean item? LL Bean Damn combo. good looking. Yeah, Thank you. duck hunting, that kind of thing? Does duck well. Hunting. Thank you. Uh, dear Dave, what is it you whisper in most of your guests' ear? Think about that sentence for a second. What is it you whisper in most of your guests' ear? Uh, when you greet them, just curious, Claude Richard from Kingston, Ontario, and Darlene from Ottawa. Oh, well, they're Canadians. Well, that explains a lot. I don't know. Huh? I'm I don't know. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, uh, they're talking about when, when guests come out, uh, often I'll go up to them, and uh, while people are applauding, I, I give them words of encouragement, yeah. or we exchange a pleasantry or something. Uh, although, occasionally, I'll mix it up and try something different. For example, I think it was a couple of nights ago, Tom Arnold? Just last night, I Yeah, think. was one of our guests, and I tried something a little different. Here, watch this. Gee, you bit my You bit my You're a lunatic! Yeah, I snapped. 
snapped.